Welcome back to the Prelude to Computer Science series. This is video 7 on logic operations and logic gates. Recall that the NOT circuit just reverses the input so that if the input is 1, the output is 0, and if the input is 0, the output is 1. Uh, the next circuit that we're going to talk about is the AND gate. The AND gate performs a logical AND operation. Now, the real AND gate in the computer doesn't look like the diagram below. This is just a mental model, just like the NOT circuit. Uh, it has, uh, in this case, two inputs. And if all of those inputs are true, or 1, then the output is a 1. Otherwise, the output is 0. So if any of the inputs is 0, which means false, if any of the inputs is 0, then the output will be false. The AND gate, also called the AND circuit, can have more than two inputs. And we can label the diagram with variables. So we can call the inputs A and B, the top input A and the bottom input B, and we can call the output C. The value of C is the value of A ANDed with the value of B. We can describe the function of an AND gate uh, by writing an equation. C is equal to A and B. And we can actually write out the word AND, A and D. We can also use the multiplication symbol to mean AND. So we can write C is equal to A dot B. And we read that as C equal A and B, or C equal A ANDed with B. Now, here's a question. How do we know whether dot means multiplication or logical AND? The answer is, we have to look at the context. As with the NOT gate, we can also use a truth table to describe the function of an AND gate. The, the table here describes what this thing does. So if A and B are both 0, then it's a 0. Then C, the output, is 0. The only case that the output is a 1 is when both of the inputs are 1. As I mentioned previously, you can make a three input AND gate. In this case, the inputs are A, B, and C, and D is the output. D is high, that is one or true, whenever all of A, B, and C are true. Otherwise, it's false. You can easily imagine how an input AND gate would work. The next circuit is the NAND gate, which means not AND. It has two inputs, A and B, in this case, and it has an output, C. And you'll notice that there's a little circle at the output end of the thing. That is the not, the and, the not symbol. Uh, if you look at the second diagram, that is what the first diagram really means. It means an AND followed by a NOT. Uh, now, neither one of these it looks like the real circuit. Neither one of them looks like the real circuit in the computer. Again, this is just a conceptual model for helping us understand how these things work. Here we have a truth table that shows the outputs for a two-input AND gate as well as a two-input NAND gate. And you'll see in red there that uh, every place there's a zero in red, there is a one in blue. And every place there's a one, in red, there's a zero in blue. So the, the NAND just reverses the output of the AND gate. Back when we did the, the AND gate, you probably surmised that there was such a thing as an OR gate, and you'd be right. Except that there's actually two different kinds of OR gates. There's an inclusive OR and an exclusive OR, or XOR as we call it. Uh, for an in uh, for an inclusive OR, if any input is true, then the output is true. Otherwise, the output is false. But for an exclusive OR, if some input is true, but not all of them, then the output is true. Otherwise, it's false. And we'll, ex we'll make this a lot much more clear when we look at the truth table. So maybe some examples will clarify the difference. Uh, for an inclusive OR, a farm can have cows or chickens, but it can also have both cows and chickens. But for, let's say, an exclusive or an example might be 
your budget allows you to buy ice cream or cake but not both so you might say you may buy ice cream or cake and uh, so there's a distinction between inclusive or and exclusive or these are the symbols or diagrams for inclusive or and exclusive or respectively the top is inclusive or or just plain old or and the bottom is exclusive or or XOR here we have the truth table for both the inclusive and the exclusive ors notice in red that's the third column that the only case where we have a false or zero is the first case where both of the inputs is zero if any of the inputs is one then the red column shows that the output is a one for the exclusive or the the outputs are identical to the inclusive or except for the last case when both of the inputs are one then the output is zero so that it's the only difference between the input and the output is that last case where both of the um, uh, inputs are the same now you might be asking yourself what good this stuff is why do you need to know it well the truth is you don't absolutely need to know it but it will help you understand a little bit of how a computer works at the hardware level and more importantly it will help you later when you have to understand how logic works in programming this concludes video number seven on logic thank you